Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Caitlin. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. I love you. Today's video is something that I'm really passionate about and that is the Rockstar Girlfriend aesthetic. It has literally consumed every ounce of my being. I love this aesthetic. I have never found something so truly me in my life. Like it combines so many different parts of me and who I am, the edgy, but the feminine and it's like, it's perfect. I love this aesthetic and I feel I have dove into it enough that I am very qualified to talk about it. So with that being said, class begins and we're going to break down what exactly makes the Rockstar Girlfriend aesthetic so intriguing. So we're going to break down Rockstar Girlfriend aesthetic normal version and professional version. This is going to be the shortened version. I can make a full video on just all the nuances of Rockstar Girlfriend aesthetic. But this is gonna be specifically like outfits, okay? So normal rock star girlfriend. You see a lot of leather, you see a lot of texture. It seems like it's thrown together, like she just threw it on before her boyfriend show and like didn't put much thought, but she looks so effortlessly glam, feminine, edgy, all of the above. I think this comes from sandwiching the soft feminine parts of an outfit and the edgy parts. So usually you will aim for two edgy, one feminine, or two feminine and one edgy. And when I mean that, I'm talking about like shirts, pants, shoes. So if your shoes and your shirt are edgy, your pants are gonna be feminine. If like, you get it, you get it. You can like mix and match that way. And that is like a tried and true way to make sure that you are hitting the Rockstar Girlfriend aesthetic while making it like easy on yourself. So typically Rockstar Girlfriend aesthetic encapsulates super small skirts, ripped fishnets, graphic baby tees, crop tops, fur, cheetah print, like all the crazy loud in your face things that might not be acceptable for like a work atmosphere. And that kind of is like the whole shtick of it is to be like loud and in your face, but like feminine and girly and like confident in your body, but can make it work for work. So for work, you're gonna take the same materials. So like I said, Rockstar Girlfriend Aesthetic has a lot of leather. It has a lot of velvet, corduroy, maybe fur, graphic tees, fishnets, heeled boots, that sort of thing. And to transfer this aesthetic into work, we're gonna take the same material. So the leather, the corduroy, the velvet, the fur, all that, you can still take those elements and put them into the clothes you wear for work. So instead of like a super tight mini leather skirt, you're gonna have leather pants. Instead of like a super mini dress that's like skin tight, you're just gonna make it a little bit longer. Make it the same print, make it the same something, like keep something the same, just make it more modest. So I'm showing you all these examples. Just change the mini skirts to maxi skirts or mini skirts. Keep the form-fitting flare pants. You can still wear the big chunky boot heels to work and wear fur coats to work. And I think all of these are really great inspiration for Rockstar Girlfriend at work. 